guys welcome to another video today we are here at kigalika free zone i want to tell you uh which country is better is it rwanda or, or is it kenya what are some of the differences we are going to see which one but these are just my own opinion so anyone don't come for me i'm going to tell you every side and we see which one is good although this is east africa and we are one so let's see and um, also we are going to see on uh, on the side of development most developed yeah something like that caribou sana although rwanda is a very small country people say that it cannot be compared to a country like kenya kenya is about 5082000 000 kilometer square and Rwanda is about 26,000 kilometer square so it's about 22 times of Kenya in size in, in kilometer squared but Rwanda has shown uh, a lot of uh, development a lot of beauty in the recent years so I just want to compare the two in fact uh, it cannot be compared but we have to learn from other East African countries. Let's talk about the roads. Although uh, people have been saying Rwanda have uh, best roads, beautiful roads, very smooth, good pavements, everything in order. They have put the markings in everything. It, there's uh, one very big challenge when it, it comes to Rwanda and roads. Yes, they have put a uh, very beautiful roads. They have really tried when it comes to infrastructure but this country is a hilly country like you know rwanda is the land of thousand hills so it is not easy for them to make the highways and all that because they need this spiral road because of the mountains and in fact they have done a lot of work even to even to have the current road they have, and they are very good and they are very smooth. In fact, in Rwanda, the cases of accidents are zero, zero, completely zero. You hardly hear about accidents and all that because in fact, also there's this uh, issue of speed governing. Yeah, so it, actually they have beautiful roads, but let's come to Kenyan Lord. wow. Kenya is my country, and I would love to say that it has beautiful roads, especially now this recent uh, Nairobi Expressway that really changed the face of Kenya, the face of Nairobi City. So the Nairobi Expressway made this city look completely different. And the construction of road is uh, wide in Kenya not only in the city but as well outside the city even in the villages so when it comes to roads and highways and all that the infrastructure i will give it to kenya and that's uh, my views so kenya have completely very very nice uh, roads uh, good infrastructure and it's in it's widely done all over the counties all over the country Let's talk about the Rwanda currency. They have these coins and they have the, the first note is a 500. That is about 50 Kenyan shillings. There's uh, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 is the last uh, note. 5,000 is about uh, 500 Kenyan shillings. And you know um, about the Kenyan currency, we have uh, 50 Kenyan shillings. We have up to 1,000 Kenyan shillings that uh, is the last. So this is the Kenyan currency, as you see. And so that is Kenyan's currency is more stronger than Rwanda currency. In fact, I think by double like that. 
Yeah, that thing you know about the currency. So that means that um, the economy of Kenya is completely different. Now let's talk about the criminals of the city. And Kigali has been given the this, and Kigali have been given this title of having the cleanest city in in the world. In fact, let me talk about Africa in Africa. It is very true. Even you can see the, the beauty of this country. They have been doing cleanliness. In fact, they have uh, like uh, a duty to do it in every month, every second Saturday of the month. They do, they do cleaning. I think that that Saturday of the month they do cleaning. They have, in fact, they call it the pride of Rwanda. Keep Rwanda clean. When it comes to Nairobi, this is the city of Nairobi. I'm not going to say that Nairobi is not a clean city. It is very clean, you can see. In fact, uh, um, um, I, we can see some changes now that the city is becoming clean. But even when you come to Rwanda, you see these uh, beans everywhere. You, can, you cannot drop any, anything. But in Nairobi, the funny thing, by the time you see one uh, bean, that where you can drop your trash, there are not so many. That is one thing that makes Nairobi maybe um, people don't observe cleanliness as much. So when it comes to the cleanliness of the city, I will talk about Rwanda. I'll give it to Rwanda. Of course, that is given that we cannot take it from them. This is the cleanest city in Africa. But Nairobi, it is beautiful. I love my country, I love my city, but let's give this credit to Rwanda. Let's talk about the bus system, the the transportation, the transportation, the system in Rwanda. Uh, maybe I have done another video before about uh, the transportation in Rwanda. It's one of the best. It's, they use this uh, tap and go process. But uh, again, there's one thing when it's come to these uh, Rwanda buses. Even when the bus is full, people have to start. And in fact, I tried that one time and it's really tiring to start. So I wish they had more buses. So when the bus is full, they could just take uh, the next bus instead of making people start for long distances and all that. So that's, uh, but let me see the tap and go process is a good one. When it comes to Kenya, we use this matatu. But the good thing about uh, the matatus, you're not going to study, you're not going to you be comfortable. There is no specific system in Kenya, but now they've been trying to implement the BRT, but I hope it will be implemented in future. So for me, the transportation system, I think for Kigali, the tap and go process is a good process apart from the people where they have to start for a long time inside the bus. The population of Rwanda as of now is about 14 million and that of Kenya is now at 55.1 million. So uh, let us see that Rwanda, the population of Rwanda is uh, getting high. Back it was about 11 million. This country is showing a lot of changes.
let us come to developments something like uh, the ongoing project of the mega airport this mega airport is even bigger than the kenyan airport and is still on construction and they are expecting that by 2026 this will be complete it is a world-class airport and so in this case even if people say that rwanda is a small country and easy to manage we have seen even smaller countries and they don't develop so let us say that rwanda have really tried when it comes to development if you watch to this point guys thank you so much i hope you like the video and if you do kindly give it a like hope to see you to the next bye bye